So this is the next update on my 20 long. It's doing really well. I'm very happy that I took the time to break down my other overgrown tank to correct some of the errors and mistakes I had made in that tank. It had matured to a point where it, it just had to be broken down and I've taken my time and it was well worth it to me. I don't have to dose this tank so far. It has less corals in it. It has less stony corals in it and um, I am still got a bad habit of overcrowding and it's starting to get overcrowded a little bit but anyway I just wanted to show you how good it's doing. Um, I'm happy with the Walt Smith rock. Um, it's been I like the color of it. I, I like how it cycled and um, the hue that it gives to this tank. I like, um, I had to frag up a lot of stuff and get rid of it, but I kept a few frags and they're doing real well, the ones I kept, because everything was so overgrown in there, but that is my purple stylo. That's the, a branch off of my pen gorgonian. There is a, in the middle of the screen, Bird of Paradise, a small frag I kept of that. This had a little bit of trouble with the transition. It started to STN. I was fully prepared to frag it up and keep a little frag and um, sell off some frags, but it stopped. So as this tank got more mature and stable, it seemed to do better. Everything that's new is happy and seems to be doing well. The Gorgonian that I have here is trying to kill the hammer that's next door. So you can see the branch there and how that is like reaching out to touch someone. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might can turn that sideways. I don't really have a place to move it to, but so, but I might just let it continue to see what happens and I'm sure this other head will grow and multiply out even further. That gorgonia in the back that's pink and green is doing well. I had a little bit of a tragedy that I bought a firefish. I do not quarantine. I don't have a quarantine tank. I don't have time to maintain or place to put a quarantine tank. Put a firefish in here. It brought ick into here and killed my clownfish that used to host this big <laughs> gongapora. It's like a third bigger than it was because it's not being hosted all the time and it's happier not being messed with constantly. But I do miss my clownfish. They were going on five years old. Also, that blue damsel I had in here died from it. I have a watchman goby in here that did not get sick from it, so he's either got a very good constitution or has had it before, or I don't know how all that works, but it did good. <clears throat> I had a huge bouquet of these Pally's Grandies in my other 20 long, maybe a year ago. It got so big it was like giving off major chemicals and killing everything within five inches of it. So I gave the bouquet to a friend and they kind of bleached in her tank, but I got a little frag of it back and they greened up nice and they've got more heads already than what I got. I did not put any zoanthids, paleothoas, or mushrooms directly on my rock work in this tank because I've had trouble in that other tank with them taking over and um, killing stuff. That pink poslapora in the right back there. It had browned out as well as this crown of thorns frag I kept when I moved from my other tank to this and as this tank is getting more stable it is now they're coloring back up very nicely. I fragged up those. I had like a couple maybe two huge recordia. I fragged them up and they're healed and looking good. They had already started to split, so I just like cut where this, they were bowing in to split anyway. That, whoa, Gargonian back there had some places that had lost tissue, and it is all growing back onto it, so it's back happy again. And I like that one. It's purple with like brown polyps, tan polyps. It's really pretty. I like that one. So anyway, just wanted to give everybody an update as to how it's doing. And it's the same setup as I had before. Um, no sump, no protein skimmer, and I'm not having to dose, and I'm real happy. So it's it's doing well. I'm gonna take you back real quick and talk to you about my 10. So let's go back there. 
back in my bedroom and this is my little 10 gallon I have back here had it for a while and it's doing really well but I've made the decision I'm going to break it down or I think I might give it to a friend I um, I have a very busy life and even though this tank is easy peasy so easy to take care of I just have to r regularly do a water change once a week and it just well same with my 20 gallon I mean it, it takes me 20 minutes to clean this tank I not including the time of getting the water balance but from getting the water balance once I once that's done from the time I start cleaning this tank till the time I stop it's it's literally about 20 minutes it's so easy to take care of but it's one more thing and I have a lot in my life I have nine children still at home we're fixing to start back to homeschooling full time and I clean my tanks on the weekends and it's just you know one more thing and so I'm trying to cut back on some things in my life I enjoy having it in my bedroom because I can lay and look at it um, while I'm in bed because it's like <laughs> literally right by my head of my bed but um, anyways I'm going to take a few things out of this tank before I give it away to a friend um, I have a pom-pom crab in here my little fighting conch that's tiny my urchin the green star polyps in the front they're on a separate rock I might cut that in half and keep some of those separate in my other tank and then the red gonopora here in the front is one of my favorite so I might cut some of that as well and put that in my other tank but in my little tail spot blending I might try and catch him but something funny that happened is I have these little clear shrimps they're like right there I have like six of them in here my friend came back from Florida she brought some for her tank and brought me some I love them their joints kind of glow in the dark but they're clear and you really can't see them they're kind of striped but they jump they're jumpers and so I usually start off with about six and after about two years they've all jumped out even though I have a lid on this um, tank they still seem to find like right back here by the filter maybe but at night when I'm sleeping I have this jar of water I put right here let me see right there I leave it right there and it's full of water so if I get thirsty I can drink it next to my remote <laughs> but anyways I woke up one morning and I was looking at my tank and just hatching out for a minute before I had to get up and I looked over and going up and down in that bottle <laughs> looked like a shrimp and I thought maybe it was a reflection from one going up and down the corner on the inside and sure enough when I got up one of those clear shrimp managed to not only perfectly jump out that hole but land perfectly in that tiny hole that's an old kombucha bottle and um, into fresh water nonetheless I don't know how long he was in there but I strained him out threw him in and he's still alive in there so I mean that's just crazy but he might not have been in there long I don't know I was sleeping but anyways funny story true but just wanted to let you see how the tanks are doing and let you know that I'm going to be parting with this tank to try and make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to miss it. I do like this tank, but the, the maintenance, if there's one more thing when on the weekends, I do all my tanks. I only have the 20 long and then this one. I actually can show you my other one too. Let's hold on a second, but I'm um, letting you know that this one will be going. So some people are a fan of this tank and ask a lot of questions about it, but anyway. I'll show you my my bowl too. Hold on a second. So I only have my 20 long, and then this 10, which is going, and and this bowl. This is the only freshwater tank I have in my whole house, and it is maybe a six or eight gallon bowl I got off of Amazon. Oh, there's Thomas James and looking at my tank. But anyways, um, I just have a regular CFL over it, and a lamp I got from Home Depot, and it's a dirted Wallstead bowl. The Wildstead method and I've had this one up and running for probably two or three years I don't even know it's got shrimp and a little female betta Armano shrimp some chili rasboras but anyways that's all the tanks I have left so after my 10 gallon goes it'll just be this in my 20 and it should make life a lot easier so that's our update for this time around on my channel and um, I have had some people ask some questions and so I'm going to try and get a video together on answering some of those questions that I've let build up a little bit. And so that will be my next video that I do. But 
this was just an update and I pray that everybody's having a good summer I know it's coming to a close soon and kids will be going back to school and I just pray that your tanks are all doing well your fish are beautiful and that your corals are fluffy and happy and happy reefing and blessings